hi guys welcome to my channel so i know it's a long time i couldn't do a video for months i think i feel like more like a years but i actually took a break from my youtube uh, channel because i actually working on something else that's um, is more related to my grad uh, studies because i was doing my cumulative exams or if you know what is cumulative exam that's about uh, when you are in a phd program so you have to be qualified you have qualifying exams so uh, first you have to pass that exams and you have a um, research proposal that you have to present and once your committee and they all accept that then uh, you are uh, uh, you can actually use that as your research project and you can continue your project and uh, that's what you're going to uh, present as your research thesis so that's a lot that i have to uh, start my phd stuff so i have to first finish my cumulative exam so during this quarantine time i used my time to finish that stuff so I'm halfway through. I didn't finish all the cumulative exam, but I'm halfway through. But I finished some of the exams, so I took time to study uh, uh, subject related stuff and uh, working on the exams um, and some stuff related to the research. So, some of my friends really ask about me that since I'm in the US and uh, there are many co uh, COVID cases uh, in. Um, even in today in us and how you cooperate with that situation do you still have the classes or are they all in online like so many questions regarding that so i thought i will take some time to explain what's really going on here and uh, and uh, how we really cope with the situation and whether it's a good or bad uh time to apply for the us higher studies um and like that kind of stuff because i think uh if you are thinking to apply for higher studies in any other countries so how that uh possible and then can you still uh do the courses or get the higher studies in different other countries um like that kind of stuff and other than that i like to explain a little bit about how you can actually use uh, the quarantine season to upgrade yourself you know grow up learn something new like uh, that kind of stuff first um before diving into that uh i'm so glad i'm doing this again and um um really apologize that i'm not uploading videos that i used to do um because i took some time to study for my cumulative exam so now i'm here and um let's talk about the things that I told you earlier that how uh, you can apply uh, for the US or higher studies and is that a good time to apply or with the, any other way you can actually study uh, in other countries right now or like how that change in US. So the first thing is uh, at the moment uh, I cannot really say it's controlled in a uh, us at the moment like we still see like uh, increasing number of covid cases uh, every day so i don't think it's controlled at the time so um so if you're thinking to apply for universities i think um this is not the best time because of the uh, covid and um most of the classes and the courses they are in the online right now um so but there's a possibility you can actually take the courses while you are in your country because most of the courses are online if you are applying as undergrad student there's a possibility you can actually do the courses and study in abroad when you are actually in this uh, your home so i think that's a good news mm. But if you're thinking actually moving to another country, I don't think this is the best time to do that. Um, but what you can do is you can use the quarantine time. You can use this time uh, because you cannot actually go anywhere else. And you can use that extra time to study hard and finish your exams because those exams are ELTS or um, TOEFL or GRE. Those exams really valid more than one, two or two, three years. So 
you can really use that results uh, when you want to apply in future so i think that's the best thing you can do use this time to study for those exams and finish those exams if you're thinking to apply for higher studies other than that if you're thinking to pay by yourself and you want to apply for undergrad programs so you can still do it because most of the universities uh, how the online course system so even in our my university most of the courses even the graduate courses are online but uh, if you are a graduate student and we are working the research program or research stuff then you actually have to go to the university with the precautions and the safety measurements but still you have to work so i'm i tell you how we do it uh, in here uh, because of the quarantine situation so what we have to do is we have to actually take the uh, covid test and check whether we are negative and like with the results uh, and then uh, now then you have actually can go to the university and then they have limited numbers for the courses or labs or even in the research lab there's only two people can be at the same time in the lab and they should be maintain the distance and all and like that um we try to maintain the safety and but still we are uh, trying to progress on our research stuff um as i told you um uh, uh even it's a little bit hard to uh work as before we did before the covid situation but still we are trying our best to finish the stuff we already started some uh research are really time sensitive research so you cannot really take a break and you can stay home and like that so they have to really work on that stuff um yeah if you're working with the live stuff or live cells or like stuff something like that then you cannot really wait and some there's there's some uh, time restriction that you have to work with and um, most of the time i have to tell you that graduate students have no choice but they have to work in the research some most of the time uh, if you are supposed to be okay with that you can actually work at home or uh, if your research is uh not really uh related to lab stuff if you are doing something computer science or you know like uh, is there a possibility you can do your research at home that's the best thing you can do at the moment uh uh and if you're undergrad the most of the time you have online courses so you don't have to worry about that uh, other than if you're taking any labs or anything like that you don't have to you really don't have to come to the university at the moment um so that's how we really work uh in us right now so uh it's kind of difficult situation for most of us including undergrad or graduate or international so any citizens or everybody else in the world right now um i have to tell you if you are graduating and if you are looking for a job uh it's a little bit difficult at the moment and um because you know the situation is not good for the uh, job market right now um but i have to tell you if you are uh, doing a if you have a degree related to computer science or bioinformatics or um uh, like data analysis like that kind of stuff you have a really good uh, job market i have to tell that too because i see uh even i told you it's really difficult to find a job but i still uh, see students find jobs um including international students um it's not uh, really bad i would say but there's a restriction if you are applying for a green cards uh, at the moment in in the us they are not allowing to take the green cards if you uh, want to apply um like that kind of restriction and if you have a some countries you have a travel bans and uh, most of the airports are closed so if that the situation you know uh sometimes it's a little difficult to the international students and uh, including international students and all the others i would say like that um yeah but good thing is uh even this hard time there's a way uh you can really uh use it um uh, as an opportunity as i told you earlier every uh, bad situation in a 
there should be a there is a opportunity you actually have to say it um in here i would like to tell you that even you are stuck in home there's a possibility you can work on something you really want to do but because you are working outside your home or you didn't have time to do that earlier now you have time and uh, now you have time to work on them it could be related to your profession it could be related to your hobby it could be a family matter or anything like that but you have time to actually spend it that you have time to spend with your family unfortunately as an international student i don't have that opportunity but if you are at home right now you have a good opportunity to really uh stay uh, safe with your family and have a quality time with your family and um use that time to learn something new or new skill um if you want to open a new business i don't think this is a good time to start a new business because of the economy and all but i still there's a possibility you can even if you are really uh enthusiastic about that is still you have possibility to start a business and you can expand your business if you already have one and um and a good thing is you can actually learn about that if you want to study more about how to uh know the if you need to know new skills about that or uh if you want to improve the connections Uh, with the people who are in that field like that kind of stuff you can really do so as i told you this is not really a worst time um you can use this as opportunity and you can expand your knowledge and read about books that you are really interested about so at the moment i'm i'm reading the books that not nothing to do with my research but i'm really enjoying i really like uh, psychology stuff so i'm reading the books like that but there's nothing to do with my research or anything like that but you know that's something uh, i enjoyed and i learned something out of it so uh, it's all always uh, how you uh, say it your perspectives about the situation uh, even in the worst time there should be a silver line there's a silver line so you ju- you just have to say it Mm. I hope this may helpful for you uh if you are stuck in your home and um if you if you don't feel see uh uh really if you don't feel well and if you feel like sick and uh take the rest take rest and take the medication that you when uh, meditations or medications and everything like make you feel comfortable uh, make you feel uh uh you know healthy um Uh, physically and mentally because that's a really hard time you know even it's not physically ill probably it's mentally you can uh it's a hard time to pass through so i'll say uh use this time wisely and um, uh, i hope you guys are safe and um, uh, hope to see you in the next video and uh, i'm apologizing again that i didn't upload anything for months but i'll be here again and i'll do videos as i used to do and um if you really enjoyed and please make sure to thumbs up and um like my video uh, and click the bell button before you leave uh, see you in the next video